Hey everybody, hope you guys all didn't save. So this is the 2023 Huawei MateBook X Pro. I've been using it on and off for about two months now and I like this machine a lot. Now I have to be honest, I don't use a Windows as my main work machine. I prefer to use a Mac because I edit videos a lot on Final Cut Pro. But I've been turning to the Huawei MateBook X Pro a lot for when I need to do writing work only, like I just need a panda or an article. Or when I'm just stepping off for a couple of hours to the coffee shop and I just need something really lightweight. Because this thing weighs only 1.2 kg or about 2.7 pounds. And it measures only 15.8 millimeters in thickness at the thickest point. So this is a really lightweight device. The Huawei MateBook X Pro is sleek and stylish. It kind of has that premium unibody craftsmanship that Apple started the MacBook line, but Huawei has been using for its MateBook series quite a lot too. And I like that Huawei has developed its own design language. Like for example, this is a 14.2 inch 3K panel with touch screen support. So this is something that you don't get on MacBooks. The bezels are thinner than on the MacBooks and the webcam is now on the top instead of hidden in the keyboard. And I'm a big fan of this magnesium alloy body, which is lighter than aluminum, but it's also coated in this white finish that's, it's grippy, it's not slippery, it doesn't have traffic fingerprints, but it's soft to the touch. It has a silky feel to it. It's just a very good looking laptop that feels very nice in the hand. And I like that you can adjust the screen brightness with the trackpad by sliding up and down on a trackpad. Like right here, if you slide up and down, you can actually adjust the screen brightness. Maximum brightness is really respectable at about 600 nits. If you swipe on the right side, it will also adjust the volume and you can scrub through videos by swiping at the top. So I love this trackpad that is very responsive and also has all these gestures. Speaking of gestures, this thing runs Windows 11 Pro, but Huawei has built a PC manager in here that adds a bunch of special features like the ability to connect to a Huawei device by just tapping your phone on the trackpad and you'll connect your Huawei phone to your laptop and you can control your phone directly just on the laptop screen or vice versa. There's also this new camera feature that allows you to add beautifying features to your face, add center frame, meaning you can move around and the camera will try to keep you in center frame. The video quality is not that good, it's only 720p, but for the most part, if I'm just writing articles and taking video calls, this laptop is excellent and gets the job done. Another reason I like using the Huawei MateBook X Pro is because Windows actually has more open source software than MacBook, and Windows has a lot wider range of software. For example, one of the software that I've been using is today's video sponsor, UPDF. So UPDF, it's a very intuitive software that allows you to edit PDF documents in a bunch of ways. You can actually jump into the document and move photos around, resize the photos. You can crop the document. You can reorganize the page. You can use AI recognition to recognize the text in the document to pick up the text from a PDF and then you can copy and paste that over to an email. Traditionally, if you open a PDF document using just a generic PDF reader, all you can do is read. You can't change it at all. UPDF allows you to make changes to it. So if you are working public relations and you need to send out a lot of spec sheets in PDF form, this software could be pretty indispensable. UPDF also has an Android app that I've been using on the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 with the larger canvas and mix editing very easy. So thanks to UPDF for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description below if you want to check out special deals for subscriptions. Back to the Huawei MateBook X Pro review. So there's a 60 watt hour battery in here that it's not going to offer you the greatest battery life around, but if you're just doing office work, like word processing with Slack open in the corner and Spotify streaming in the background, which is my typical usage, I'm able to get about seven to eight hours on a single charge, which is not bad. It's about like a full office day. And if you need to top up to this laptop, you can use the 90 watt charger that comes with the machine and look at how small the charger is. I like that Huawei laptop chargers are very small. They're almost just like a smartphone charger. They're not like these bulky bricks. And with this charging brick, you can charge this laptop from zero to 100 in about 72 minutes. The software, like I said, Windows 11 Pro, it you know behaves mostly just like what you'd expect except for the additional Huawei features, which can be useful if you use Huawei products and have Huawei's whole ecosystem. Like you can connect a Huawei tablet to the screen, for example, and just use the tablet as a secondary display, just like what iPads can do with Mac. It's this type of tightly integrated hardware that Huawei's trying to build that most other Windows 
device makers like Dell or Asus are not really doing a good job of. I love this keyboard. It has 1.5 millimeter key travel. So it's a little bit more key travel than most other laptops I tested. And I'm a very fast touch typer and I love typing on this thing. There's also backlight obviously at four different levels and the backlight can be switched to automatic. So if you're using it in a dark environment, the backlight can turn on automatically. As for biometrics, you have that power button right here that doubles as a fingerprint scanner, but also the webcam can use Windows Hello to log you in via face recognition. But I prefer to use the fingerprint scanner, it's a little bit more secure. And when the machine's turned off, you easily press the power button once, and it will go from a completely off machine to all the way into your home screen in like nine seconds. So this is a very snappy machine with 16 gigs of RAM and up to one terabyte of storage. In terms of ports, you have a headphone jack on the left side and two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. So either of these ports will charge the laptop. On the right, you have two more USB-C ports, but these are just standard USB-C 2.0 ports. So they can connect to other devices, but you won't be able to charge the laptop with the ports on the right side. I do wish there was an SD card slot in here or maybe like an HDMI port. But I guess this laptop really isn't aiming for photographers, videographers. It's not for heavy creatives because it doesn't have a discrete GPU. So that means, you know, the GPU is lacking compared to pricier laptops out there. This is instead a laptop for office workers who do a lot of word processing, sending a lot of emails, maybe fixing a lot of PDFs using UPDF software, and also for entertainment because the screen looks great. It has touch screen so you can play mobile games on it. And also if you're watching YouTube video with the 3K panel and the six speaker setup, you're getting a really quality experience. And you know what we gotta do? We gotta do a speaker test. Look at the screen, it's 3K panel, it's IPS LCD, so it's not an OLED panel, so blacks aren't that deep, but colors are still vibrant enough. I'm gonna increase the volume by sliding on the trackpad. <laughs> And I can also adjust the brightness right here. I can scrub through the video by sliding on this bar. So ultimately, the Huawei MateBook X Pro is yet another premium looking, premium feeling, sleek and lightweight laptop that is ideal for office workers and maybe students, like university students. If you're a creative individual who do a lot of video editing or photo editing, this is not the machine for you. If you're a heavy gamer, this is not the machine for you. But if you're someone who's just attending college classes and need to write a lot of papers, or you're like a PR who needs to, who needs to send a lot of Word documents, emails, edit PDFs, this is the machine for you. But considering this is a machine for casual use, it's quite expensive. So this laptop is not selling in the US obviously, but it is selling in Asia and Europe for about the equivalent of 1900 US dollars. So close to $2,000 for a laptop that you can't really edit videos on or play games on. That is a little bit high, but that's been Huawei's MO, right? They sell you very premium looking and feeling devices at a price that a little bit higher than what competitors would. Like if you buy a 15 inch MacBook Pro, it's about the same price, but then the 15 inch MacBook Pro can do a lot more. So I think for a lot of people that is still the laptop to go, but if you want to stick with Windows and you know you don't need to do a lot of heavy video work, this laptop may be worth a look if you are into style or if you are fully immersed in Huawei's ecosystem. So this is the Huawei Maple X Pro 2023. Very beautiful looking laptop. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper. So that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And thanks again to UPDF for sponsoring a portion of this video. Thanks for watching.